Hi, this is Dave Jack, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, this week's question uh, comes from uh, Margarita, and she asked the following, I just spoke to a teacher who explained any decision about possible consequences for walking out of class in protest on March 14th or April 20th is up to you, you being me. I understand from a parent at LHS that there were concerns that kids might be sitting ducks if they walked out. However, I want, my, I want my age grader to know that she can participate appropriately in a protest that is important to her. What are your current thoughts about allowing or supporting a protest? Will students have a consequence if there is a typical walkout of class incident? As a mental health therapist, I feel a token consequence would be fair, but I strongly support the importance to students of being able to express their desire. For, uh, for safety from gun violence, I understand the need to maintain order. Uh, I'm hoping for an organizer plan event, etc. Uh, thanks for the question, and um, I'm in agreement with your sentiments. Um, this is a, this is a very difficult issue, and it's been um, sort of festering for the last week or so, week and a half, and uh, it's certainly not easy, and it's it's uh, causing I think a lot of sleepless nights for a lot of people, but. Here's the bottom line for me. Um, I've, students have been reaching out to me. Principals have been reaching out to me. Teachers have been re reaching out to me. Parents have been reaching out to me. Um, for the most part, supportive of the idea of students um, uh, protesting or, or holding some kind of walkout. And uh, some opposed to it for various reasons. Um, my position is pretty straightforward. I, I, I think these kids need a voice. And I'm supportive of giving them voice because the fact of the matter is up till now they really haven't had that. Um, I think we all need to keep in mind that um, students, staff, um, teachers, uh, school administrators, uh, they, are, they are the ones who have been the victims of these attacks. It's, it's not us. Uh, it's not other folks in the community. If you look at the 200 or some odd um, student shootings and school shootings in the last year around the country, you know it's the students typically who are the, who are the targets, and it makes sense to me to allow them to have some kind of voice in this discussion. And the fact of the matter is, uh, just the energy that this conversation about potential walkouts, and there has been a kind of a small walkout at. Liberty High School involving about 50 students who stayed out for a few minutes, made a couple of speeches, and then went back to class. Um, I, I think the energy behind these kinds of demonstrations has been um, appropriate. These kids need a voice. They haven't had one. And uh, they're, they're the ones that are, are, you know, are being targeted. Uh, so what I've told principals, who are also very supportive, what I've told them is I, I support these student walkouts as long as they're well managed, well organized, as there's as long as there's some sort of adult supervision, as long as their students aren't leaving campus. Um, and uh, what I've asked principals to do at each of the high schools is get the SEA reps from the uh, three high schools together to come up with a plan, uh, an organized event where where you know they're leading it. They're, it's their event and it's it's their voice that we're listening to but but naturally they're they're still kids and they're 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 our responsibility um so I, i'm very supportive and um we're going to involve the sros also sros also because uh, i know there's i've heard from a couple people say well if they walk out and they're at a stadium or something they're sitting ducks well frankly you can make the case um they're, they're, in some respects, they're susceptible no matter where they are. And uh, that's very daunting to me and to others. And um, we got to do whatever we can to keep these kids safe. And it's not, you know, the, the, the folks who have written me and, and posted online and whatnot about the politics and gun control and all this stuff. You know, honestly, I don't think the kids give a rip about any of that stuff. They want They just want to be safe when they go to school. And I want them to be safe. So... As superintendent, I understand that I'm responsible for about 11,000 students, and I'm going to do everything I can to make to ensure their safety. Um, 
And uh, to that end, we're going to be having a meeting on the 13th with principals, law enforcement, some politicians to discuss this. What else can we do? What are some other steps that our community can support in regard to keeping students more you know, safe while they're at school? We don't want kids to feel unsafe in school. We don't want them, want them to be um, at risk. And the politics, you know, that's not up to me and it's not up to us. It's up to the politicians. And it, that is what it is. We can, we can uh, add the, whatever political argument or spin we want on these demonstrations or walkouts. But, you know, I can tell you, most kids, are, they just want to be safe and they want to be heard. And that's what, in my view, these, these walkouts and this energy is all about. So I'm supportive. Have a nice day.